Hey everyone, Steve with Cut the Crap and Move to Costa Rica. Just coming up on uh, sunset here in Tamarindo. And I thought I would give you guys a shout and see what was up. So, um, not sure. Oh, my phone is just uh, taking a mind of its own here. It's not staying on the uh, holder here very well. But uh, so, as you can see, it's sunset here in Tamarindo. Beautiful night, nice and clear. Um, just nice glorious night it's nice very very good temperature it's uh, warm it's not hot but it's nice and um, it's a warm evening uh, I guess I mean it's kind of cool for us because we're used to 90 degrees in the day and oh I don't know well about 90 in, in the day and we're getting down into the 70s probably right now but uh, just thought I would check in with you here let me set my phone up here and so tonight I think I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about security Okay, so I live in a uh, condo. Let me get my thing set up here. Oh, it's not wanting to stay. There we go. All right, almost there. Almost there. Got to find the balance point here. There we go. All right, so we live in a condo complex, and uh, we have a security guard that watches over the place uh, every night. We have a, a gardener during the day. Um, and that's kind of important to us. Now we live in Tamarindo, it's a, it's a city. And so even in the city, there is problems with theft in, in Costa Rica. That's a pretty common problem. Actually, I'm gonna slide over here a second here. Let me switch, switch chairs here. There we go, slide this over. There we go, a little better view. All right, so um, theft is a problem in Costa Rica and it's a problem everywhere, but especially, oh, there we go. Almost there. Okay, there we go. Uh, theft is a problem throughout the country, uh, especially in the more remote areas, though. So if you're going to be moving out um, kind of more into the jungly areas or more in the remote areas, you can't leave your stuff, okay? Um, there are, most people use security, uh, have like dogs for security, and that helps out a lot. Um, but even then, it's not going to keep you completely safe. Uh, as a as an expat, um, someone who has come from another country, especially those coming from North America, you are a target. And most of the time, you have more than they do. And so usually they're, they're crimes of opportunity. Um, and so they, they, it's just, theft is just a problem, okay? So if you lock your stuff up, you're doing pretty good. But if you leave it unattended, especially for any length of time, if you're gonna be traveling back to the States to go visit family or friends or anything like that, you can't leave your place unattended. You need to have somebody come and stay in your place um, or you need to really lock your stuff up, take it out of the house, whatever, especially your valuables. You wanna get those out because you'll come home to an empty house. We have seen, there's actually buildings where they have taken it down to the ground. I mean, they'll take um, concrete walls or all that's left. They take the doors, they take the windows, they take the, they, they just strip the all the materials, the wiring, They'll take the wiring out. It's just crazy um, what'll happen. Now, I don't want you to get the wrong impression. Okay, most of the, it's a very safe country. I, I believe it's safe. Now, there is some theft. There is some problems, especially when you get into the city. Uh, there's some gang activity. There's some, uh, you know, drug activity and things along those lines. And so there, there are some issues there, but it's just like any other city. Right, you're gonna have that whether you're in New York or whether you're in San Jose, Costa Rica. You know, the city breeds uh, crime. It's just kind of what happens. But outside of the city, and especially into areas that are more remote and things, your biggest issue is gonna be theft. Usually not, not too much assault. It does happen, I mean, it happens everywhere. Um, but you don't get so much the assault, you don't get you know, those type of crimes. It's more theft, and usually it happens when people are gone. Uh, sometimes it happens while people are sleeping and people will break in and steal stuff and leave and, and you'll wake up with your stuff missing and not know what happened. Uh, but that's most of the time because people aren't being real careful with themselves and they're not using common sense to lock up. They're, you know, lock up their stuff, lock the doors, lock the windows. Um, and then, like I said, if you have a security dog, that helps if you're you know, in a remote area and you're not gonna hire a guard or having a guard really does pay off. They, they will protect you, they will keep things from happening. Um, and, and they're on watch while you're sleeping, while you're away. You know, you, you don't have to worry about, hey, I need to run to 
you know, if you live in a remote area, maybe you need to run 20 minutes or 30 minutes in to go get some, you know, special groceries or you know go shopping for this or that that you can't get, you know, in your remote towns. They they don't have the shopping options. Well, while you're gone for an hour or two or three or whatever, or you go surfing or you go, you know, touring or whatever, you can come back to an empty house. And so that's something just to consider is what are you doing for security to protect yourself? And if you just leave your house wide open or if you leave your house uh, unprotected, you're going to get your stuff taken. And it's just what's going to happen. Same thing happens with cars and especially people who come down visiting your rental car is a target, okay? They see it's a rental car, they assume you're gonna lock stuff up. And they will watch you actually just put your stuff in the trunk and you think that's safe in the trunk, but it's not. Okay, don't leave your valuables in the car and definitely don't leave your passport in the car. Otherwise, you're gonna be stuck in country while you're petitioning to the embassy to get a new passport, okay? We have these tips, um, all, a lot of these tips covered in our book, Cut the Crap and Move to Costa Rica. If you read our book, we'll give you some other pointers like that. But I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about security tonight. Um, I'm, I, I just can't say enough about our guards. I, I love, uh, we got a comment here from, Vanis, uh, from Vanessa. Is it like anywhere th though, even here in the USA? Absolutely, Vanessa. It is just like in the US. Your major cities are gonna have higher crime rates. Um, but what is different, I think, here in Costa Rica is your rural communities. I don't know if you lived in like rural Kansas, I don't know if people just come in and robbing your stuff as much as they do in like the jungle areas of Costa Rica or the more remote um, locations of Costa Rica. But like I, like I said before early in, earlier in this message, it's generally not violent crimes aside from the city there there are some it, it happens everywhere it's just like any other place in the world people are people all right so you're gonna have good people and you're gonna have evil people that's just the way we are um but crime is crime and crime of opportunity is more frequent than you know people just really busting in and, and taking uh, taking advantage of people right so yes vanessa is similar to the united states where if you're watching your back, if you're using common sense, if you're not flashing your valuables and you're not making yourself a target, you will be better. We've lived here. Um, we're on our fourth year now, and I have never been robbed. I've never been held up. I've, I've never had anything like that happen to me, and I've been very fortunate. You know, praise God, that hasn't happened to me. But um, I do know of people who've been robbed. Um, I know of people who've had things stolen out of their cars. Most of them have happened when they've traveled to San Jose or to you know places like that um, I'm not I, I don't want to say it never happens but it's just like crimes happen in the small towns in the United States as well so it's very similar to that except for the fact that I think theft is probably a little bit higher here than it is in the United States especially if you're making yourself a target by flashing your valuables around so all right um, well hey Thanks, Vanessa, for the, for the question and the comment and chiming in. It's good to see you. Hey, Connor, good to see you as well. Um, guys, if you have any other questions about Costa Rica, I feel completely safe here, by the way. Um, I have a 16-year-old daughter, and I let her walk on, um, back and forth to town with you know no supervision and things like that or to go meet up with friends. Now, after dark, it is a little bit different story, and this goes back to a common sense thing. I wouldn't let her go to the city at, at dark um, by herself without any friends or anything walking around the cities in the United States. I won't let her do it here in Costa Rica either. It's just a common sense thing. You know, protect yourself and watch your back. But I do feel safe here. I do feel um, I don't I don't feel threatened at all. And and I do know that I do have my values. I take care of them. Hey, Bill, good to see you again. Um, I do take care of my valuables. I make sure they're locked up. We try not to flash around anything that's you know of value. And when we do have our cars and stuff, we try to make sure people aren't watching us lock things up. Because like I said, even if you throw your valuables in the trunk. They see that happen, they know how to break into the trunk and they can get it out. So most of it is just watch your back, use common sense, don't make yourself a target, and, um, and you'll be perfectly fine. But security is an issue, especially if you're living in the remote areas and you don't have a guard dog, you don't have anybody watching out for things. So you do need to kind of take that into consideration. If you are going to purchase a home, you need to think about how am I going to secure this? You know, bars on the windows. You, you go through towns all throughout the country and you'll see bars on the windows. You'll see razor wire and barbed wire. 
um, just you know protecting your stuff. And so that's kind of the way it works. If you leave your home unprotected, you're going to get robbed. It's just going to happen. All right. So that's my uh, tip for the day, and, and just wanted to share that tonight. Um, help you enjoy the beautiful sunset. It's almost down now. Um, it was very pretty, and the camera never picks up the colors like like they are. And so um, nice warm. Uh, evening actually it feels cool to me because it was like night you know close to 90 today high 80s and now we're down into the 70s and so um, it does feel a little cool to me but it's a nice warm evening here in Costa Rica Tamarindo and um, yeah so that's it hope you enjoyed the message hope those tips help just watch your back take care of yourself don't flash your stuff around and use common sense and you should be fine um, like I said, I don't feel at all scared to be here. So leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think about security in Costa Rica. Or if you have any questions, uh, we'd be happy to answer those. Um, and, you know, give us a like, a follow, and um, make sure you click for, for the uh, notifications there on. And also, you know, if you're on YouTube, ring the bell. But, uh, yeah, give us a follow, give us a like, and share with somebody who could use the information. Hope it helped. We'll see you next time.